right, guys. Now I'm doing movie reviews. Um, number one, start a new series. These are movie reviews and movie reviews of I what I thought. Some movies I don't have, but I need to. I I um, but I'm just I'm going to talk about some movies I saw recently. I saw Star Trek Nem Nemesis. It's from it's a two down two film in in the Star Trek series and it was good. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it and I need to get it on VHS. It's a pretty it looks per, it's a pretty good movie. I saw it and it was good. I, and then I watched World War Z that same open that same day and I saw that actually I saw that movie at ten at night and I, I saw that movie really late at night. And it was good. I I actually made it without sleeping out of sleeping, you know, sleeping without sleeping um in the movie theater because it was extremely late. It was ten at night. And I didn't get home until a little over midnight because it was it like a two hour movie and and it was good and. Another thing is, um, another movie I saw was, um, another movie I saw was, I saw this, I saw a movie called, I saw a movie, I rewatched Turner and Hooch, and it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know. It's all right now, but it's just it's still not very good. I probably I probably won't get it on VHS yet. I'll have to see if it gets any better if I watch it uh, yet again. It's just it's okay, but it's just I don't like it very much. And another movie I watched, I rewatched Elf from 2004. And <laughs> <laughs> that movie's hilarious. Can't wait to get that on VHS. That movie's so funny. But for some reason, my mom didn't like it. I don't know why. Another movie I saw was... I we watched How to Train Your Dragons. And... And it was good. I have it on DVD. My sister's far wing the disc, unfortunately. But here's the DVD, Spine Back. And the DVD, my sister's borrowing. I need to get that back soon. But yeah. But yeah, High Train Dragons, good movie. I also watched. I went to go see Pacific Rim on July 18th, and it was really, really good. It was awesome. I loved Pacific Rim. It was just, it was one of those special movies that, one of those special, it's it's actually not a rip-off of Godzilla. It's not a rip-off in any way. Like, it's completely different from Godzilla. It's completely different. I mean, there's... I in 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 some ways e maybe even better than Godzilla, maybe even better than Godzilla. It's just it's it just worked. It came out July twelfth. I saw it about a week after it came out, and it was good. I mean, I have the ticket right here. I have the ticket right here. I saw it at five twenty five p.m. on July eighteenth. Here's the ticket. I went to go see. I also have, not just that, I also have the poster still. By the way, I have the World War Z poster as well. I'll show that too in a second. I, I don't think I've showed that yet. had it for a while. Actually, it was put over here. And here's my Pacific Rim poster. Pretty cool poster, huh? Yep. And I also have the World War Z one. It's right here. This is the exclusive poster. I know one of my friends from Special Olympics gave me this poster. Oh yeah. So let me put these back where I got them from. And that same night, my mom went to go see The Conjuring as well that same night. And 
My mom didn't really care for it. She thought it was just all right, but she didn't think it was all that scary. She went on that same day at 8 o'clock p.m. She went to the premiere because it comes out July 19th. Then she went July 18th. She went to the premiere. She said it was all right. She didn't say it was, she didn't, she says it's not that scary at all. There's only like 10 scary moments in it and then that's it. The rest of the movie was just filler. But yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. And I also went to Century Aurora 16. Yeah. Another movie I saw, excuse me, was, was, oh, hi. hi. How's the middle of the video? I, I made you, oh, you what? Yeah. It's okay. I, I, I rewatched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and <laughs> it was hilarious, just like usual. It's just such a funny movie. It's so funny, and there's so much, it's so funny and cute and original. It's just, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, I laugh so hard during it. How many minutes are in? Six minutes. Wait a second, that's right. Yeah, six minutes in. The other movie I watched was... I watched Harry Potter and the, and the, and the, the first one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, I rewatched it, and it was good. I liked it. It was pretty good. And another movie I watched was... I watched Dumb and Dumber when Harry met Lloyd, finally. And... It was okay. It was alright. It wasn't as good as the first one. It was okay. It wasn't that bad. It did have some funny parts in it, but... It's just not like the original. It's alright. It's just not like the original. But I probably still get it on VHS. Because it's rare tape. Probably gonna find that. I'm not sure if I'm going to ARC this week or not. By the way, I'm not sure if I'm going to ARC this week, August 17th or not. Probably not, because... Because, um... I have... From Special Olympics, I have... But I'm wearing my school uniform still. And... And... Um... And the reason why I haven't been making any videos lately is cause is due to school, cause of school. And I I have to I'm gonna go to school tomorrow, and that's it. Then for two week for two days, I mean, and then return on Monday, and and go back there. Monday is one of the classmates' birthday. It's the nineteenth, which is pretty cool. And yeah. And another movie I watched was. The first kick A, I watched these the, the TV fourteen cut off TV, and it was, and I liked it. I liked the action in it. I liked the action in it and stuff. It was pretty. It was pretty intense and cool. Yeah, it's just it's also funny and it, it's just it's has really good writing in it and. I wish it had a TV fourteen cut. Of that movie. Always, I would have so gotten that. Oh, man. You know what? I might tape it. I might. Um, and. And. I'm really soon. I'm going to start doing recorded tapes. I'm going to start recording tapes. I know Corn Petty has recorded some tapes already. But I'm probably going to. Find out when I get any more blank tape. I might get any blank tapes or things like that. I need a rewinder. Then I'll tape the Kick A um, TV 14 cut. That's the uh, one of them I'm gonna tape. So I can. So that's even. That's so. So I could own it for my. It'll be nice for the collection because it was pretty funny. I like that. I might do that when I get a rewinder because the old rewinder broke. 
uh, out there in the living room, the DVD reminder, the old one broke. We had to get rid of it. It broke on Halloween of 2012. It broke. And stopped working. We had, and we had to throw away the remote, too. It just wasn't working right, so we had to just throw it away. We realized there was something wrong with it. Yeah, which to me sucks. It's so sad. And by the way, I watched with my some of the, the same the same um friend that who gave me Race Switch Mountain Air and Flux Thor Jury Two the Doctor Will Three Avatar and the Hobbit on DVD. Now let's we also watched Oblivion, the movie called Oblivion, on Sunday. I watched it on Sunday, which was August 11th. I I stay I stayed for for the afternoon to go see me to watch Oblivion. Then I came returned home. They they dropped me home. They took me home and. I watched Oblivion and it was all right. It was okay, but the problem is it's it's a really slow movie. It's it's a it's a slow movie. Like you know, you just you're not gonna believe how slow it is. It's just a slow like slow as a, slow like a sla snail type of movie. But when it when the action happens near the end, sadly, the action happens. That, that's when it was a good movie, but, and, but, yeah, it's a PG-13 rated movie. From, came out April, to theaters, I mean, it came to DVD August 6th, the first day I started school. As long as the Robin Hood 40th anniversary Gold Class Collection Blu-ray, which I, I, I really need to get. That was a, I can't wait to see how it looks on Blu-ray, that was a great movie, and, and Sword of Stone, which people say is a guilty pleasure. I thought, I didn't think it was all that bad. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was good. So I, I'll get that blue, I'll get that Blu-ray too and see. And they also had the Oliver Company, which was just, you know, and, and I, I love that movie since my childhood. I have two VHS copies, both 96. One has a sticker label, one has an ink label. You guys probably know that. Single label copies printed July 26, 1996. And the ink label copies printed July 9, 1996. So, guys. Um, those are the movies I watched recently. Those are the movies I watched recently. Oh, that not all. But I'll, I'll make a part two of this. So, I'll see you guys in part two. Bye.